gods of the 21st century. Their primary rule was to hunt and destroy enemy nuclear missile submarines, as well as surface ships, fitted with the best sonar in the world, 50 miles away. Their 4,500 tons, 5,200 tons when dived. They're 85.4 meters in length, and they can do a speed of 30 knots when dived. Have 130 crew underwater for one year. They make their own oxygen in water. They only need to come back in the armor weapons. Now you can only see one third of the vessel. Obviously there's two thirds of the vessel under the water. That's three decks under the water. Now there's not enough boats for all the men, so it's what they call hot bunking. As one man gets up, another man jumps into his bunk. And this police launch is here 24 hours a day protecting that submarine. They take up to six Challenger 2 tanks, or around 30 armored all train trap vehicles or 12 Merlin helicopters. She can flood her stern decks and take on four landing craft. She carries four her smaller landing craft in her davits. She has 325 crew, can carry 303 troops, with the capacity for a further 405 special units. HMS Bull walks in here for four years now on refit, or they may decommissioner. HMS Albion is taking on the duties of HMS Bull Walk. At the bottom of the dockyard now, just turn us around, take us back up through. Going to leave you a little bit more peace and quiet, but there is a few points of interest I will point out to you on the way back through. Now, the bar downstairs is open. They're there to serve you with teas, coffees, light snacks, something a little stronger. We ask, ask any questions you may have.